Exploring the phrase, seek redemption, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase, seek redemption. This phrase is rich in meaning and is commonly used in various contexts. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it effectively in your conversations. Let's get started. Seek redemption is a phrase that combines two powerful words, seek and redemption. Seek. This verb means to look for or try to achieve something. It implies a sense of purpose and effort. Redemption. This noun refers to the act of making up for a fault or mistake, or the process of being forgiven or improved. When put together, seek redemption means to actively look for a way to make up for a mistake, to improve oneself, or to gain forgiveness. It's often used in a moral or spiritual context. Let's see how seek redemption can be used in various sentences. 1. Personal growth. After realizing his mistakes, he sought redemption by volunteering in his community. 2. Literature and movies. The main character seeks redemption for his past actions throughout the story. 3. Sports. The team is seeking redemption in this match after their previous defeat. These examples show that seeking redemption is a journey or process, not just a single action. Don't confuse with redemption alone. Redemption can be used without seek, but it changes the meaning. Just redemption often implies that the improvement or forgiveness has already been achieved. Context is key. Remember, seek redemption is often used in serious or profound situations. It might be too heavy for casual, everyday mistakes. Understand the weight of the phrase. Use it in contexts that involve significant personal growth, moral dilemmas, or serious mistakes. Combine with stories or examples. When explaining the phrase, relate it to stories or real-life examples for better understanding. Seek redemption is a beautiful and meaningful phrase that adds depth to conversations about personal growth, literature, and even sports. Remember, it's about the journey to make things right, improve, or be forgiven. We hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage. Keep practicing, and see you in our next lesson. Goodbye for now, and happy learning!